Well, Peter Wood here with you again for True North Marine Training's uh, number six presentation in the Answers to Exam Questions series. This is for the Short Range Operator Certificate of Proficiency or VHF Marine Radio Licence. This presentation covers questions 101 to 120. Question 101. What is the total voltage when two 6 volt lead acid batteries are connected in parallel? So in parallel, the voltage would stay the same. So C is the correct answer. 6 volts. Question 102. What organisation registers EPIRBs? So the organisation is AMSA, the Australian Maritime Safety Authority. C is the correct answer. Question 103, what gas is produced by charging lead acid batteries? There's the explanation taken from the Marine Radio Licence Handbook. The correct answer is C, hydrogen. Question 104, what does the word out indicate during an exchange of communications? C is the correct answer, that the exchange is completed. Question 105, what is the nominal voltage per cell of a lead acid battery? So B is the correct answer, two volts. And again, the explanation from the Marine Radio Handbook is at the bottom of the page. Question 106. What type of signal is transmitted from a 406 megahertz EPIRB? Well, that is C, a brief burst of data. My question 107, what does the expression silence fini indicate? A D is the correct answer. It means uh, normal working may be resumed after a distress situation. Question 108, which of the following is the correct distress call for a VHF marine radio? So we've had this a number of times. Mayday needs to be announced three times plus vessel identification. So out of those choices, B would be the correct answer. Question 109. What is the total voltage when two 12 volt lead acid batteries are connected in parallel? Well, again, parallel voltage remains the same. So A would be the correct answer, 12 volts. Question 110. What must you do if you accidentally activate an EPIRB? So you must advise immediately the RCC. And there's the uh, explanation taken from the Marine Radio Handbook. That would be the Rescue Coordination Center. Question 111. Which control on a VHF transceiver should be adjusted to stop the constant noise from the loudspeaker when no signals are being received? Well, that is the squelch control. D is the correct answer. Question 112. What are the land stations located in Australia that receive EBIRB information relayed from the satellite? So these are known as LUTs or local user terminals. In Australia, we have two. Um, one is in Albany and one is in Bundaberg. So A is the correct answer. Question 113. What priority signal is followed by an urgent message concerning safety? So urgent is the operative word in that uh, question. To so that would be D, pan, 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 pan. Question 114, which method is used to determine the condition of a lead acid battery? And that is where you measure the specific gravity of the electrolyte. So D is the correct answer. Question 115, what is the preferred method of subsequent communications after the transmission of a digital selective calling distress alert? So communications are done by normal radio telephony procedures. So C would be the correct answer by the use of a standard radio telephony procedures. Question 116. What is the purpose of a limited coast radio station? 
So the C is the correct answer. Land stations established to communicate with vessels at sea. Question 117. What is the approximate duration of the orbiting satellites? So A is the correct answer, 100 minutes, and there's the explanation again taken from the handbook. Question 118. Is the in the COSPAS SARSAT system, what type of orbit is used by LEO satellites? Well, LEO satellites uh, are in a polar orbit. And there's the explanation from the handbook at the bottom of the page. So A is the correct answer. Question 119. To whom should general or routine communications be addressed? So they should be addressed to any station on working channels. A is the correct answer. And question 120. Whose authority is the vessel's radio station placed under? So C is the correct answer. The master, skipper or person responsible for the safety of the vessel. Thanks for your time once again. There you have questions in uh, presentation number six.